Okay, so the next one is Format Snob. You can only choose one format to read books for the rest of your life. You can only choose one format to read in nah. You can only choose one format to read. Mm. Hey guys, it's Casera, and today I'm going to be bringing you the book snob tag. So I saw this tag for the first time like a week or so ago. And I don't remember any of the questions and I didn't look at them before I started filming this video. So I don't have any answers prepared for this. So we will see how this goes. I forgot to mention this tag was created by Tia and all her books, which I will link her channel down in the description. I brought my iPad so I could look up the questions. So let's do this. All right. So the first question is adaptation snob. Do you always read the book before you see the movie? Yes. Almost always. The one exception I have to this is The Lord of the Rings because I was really young when I saw the movies and I hadn't even thought to read the books first. But other than that, yes, I will 100% always read the book before I see the movie unless I'm not planning to read the book. If I'm not planning to read the book and someone wants to go see a movie, then I'll just go see it. But if I'm planning to read the book eventually, then I will 100% read the book first. So question number two is format snob. You can only choose one format in which to read books for the rest of your life. Which do you choose? Physical books, eBooks, or audiobooks? Definitely not eBooks. I hate reading eBooks. They're my least favorite. I struggle with this one because I want to say audiobooks because like just the majority of the books that I read now are audiobooks. That being said, there are some books that I just can't stand on audio that I love physically, but then I have the exact opposite where there are a bunch of books that I just absolutely love the audiobooks for that I don't even want to read physically anymore. So I don't know. That's a really hard one. I still think I'm going to be in the minority here and say audio just because I'm an auditory learner, so it's just easier for me to listen to audiobooks than read physical books. Like, I don't, I like, when I'm reading a physical book, I'm a lot more easily distracted by other things, unless, like, I'm super into the book, than when I'm listening to an audiobook, which is weird, but it's just true. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna say audio. That's kind of weird. Okay, question number three. Ship snob. Will you date or marry a non-reader? Probably, yeah. I don't have an issue with that. I have YouTube to talk to people about books, so it doesn't really bother me. Question number four, genre snob. You have to ditch one genre, never to be read again for the rest of your life. Which one do you ditch? That one's really hard too, because I read a lot of different genres. Like I have like specific goals to read different genres, and I always find at least one book in that genre that I'm just like, five stars, this is amazing. Ah, uh, okay. I think I'm gonna have to go with horror. Not because I'm scared, but mostly because I'm never scared enough. You know what I mean? Like I want to get scared with horror books, but I, I never quite get there. Like I can think of only two instances in which I actually felt scared when reading a book. Both of them were in audiobooks, mind you. So that's easier to feel scared of than in like the physical version, but I can only think of two instances in which that happened and only one of them was an actual horror book. Not really horror even, it was a thriller, it wasn't even a horror. But like every time I pick up a horror book, I'm just like, this is boring. Why is this supposed to be interesting? Like this is not even scary. So yeah, I think it would be horror. If you have any good horror recommendations, like I want to read a good horror book, I just haven't found one yet, let me know down in the comments because I would love to actually try this genre out because I feel like I haven't really made a whole lot of tries with it, but it's also one of those that I'm just kind of just like, eh, it's okay. Okay, so question number five, uber genre snob. You can only choose to read from one genre for the rest of the life. Which genre do you choose? This one's easy. Fantasy, 100%. I will choose fantasy. I could read fantasy all day, every day, and not want to read anything else. I make myself read other things, and I enjoy reading other things when I'm reading it, but I only really ever get the itch to pick up fantasy, so yes. 100% fantasy. Also, if I could add sci-fi in there, like if you could do like the fantasy sci-fi smash up that everyone seems to do, I would totally do that also. But but if I can't do that, fantasy. So question number six, community snob. 
which drama do you think receives the most snobbery from the bookish community? And I feel like this is like gonna be the same pretty much anyone you ask. Romance and erotica. I feel like everyone's just like, ah, romance novels. They're not real books, which I mean, I'm kind of like that too sometimes, but at the same time, I like a good romance novel. So like if I do a review on a romance novel, I don't want people being like, ah, you're such a girl. Why are you reading romance novels? But like it would totally happen. Like I can see that happening, which is why I generally don't write reviews on romance novels. But yeah. And I think that's just not just in the bookish community. I think that's just in general in the world. Like if you read romance novels, people are just like, ah, you're not a real reader because it's romance. But like you are a real reader, okay? It's just you enjoy the happy-go-lucky kind of books rather than, you know, all the knives and murder books that I read, but it's fine. Like, you probably have a more happy life than I do. <laughs> it's okay. So question number seven. Wow, this is a short tag. Question number seven is the last one. Snobby recipient. Have you ever been snubbed for something that you have been reading or for reading in general? Honestly, I don't think so. Like, I'm trying to think of it, but I I really don't think so. I've gotten like weird looks from people, especially like, I think it's like, it's usually in the airport because I don't really carry books around otherwise. But in the airport, I remember, I think I was reading, it might've been one of the Song of Ice and Fire books, like one of these little ones, but like they're little, but they're, they're huge. And like, I just get weird looks when I read those. And I think part of it is just like, I don't look like the type of person that reads high fantasy, especially like grim dark high fantasy, but like, it's my favorite genre. I love grim dark high fantasy. So yeah, I get like looks, but I've never had anyone like say like, why are you reading that or anything like that or snubbed me for it. So I feel like most people are pretty understanding overall. That was a really fun tag. I really, really enjoyed it. There are definitely some interesting questions here. Let me know your answers to the question down in the comments also. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I post videos frequently on this channel, so consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.